Hello and welcome to Open Boosters. We're going to be opening up Urza Saga Pre-Constructed Deck Sleeper. This comes from Deerium CCG. Um, it's going to be fun. I haven't looked up any of the cards on here. So if I read them incorrectly, you already know, most of you anyways, know that I'm dyslexic. So here we go with Urza Saga. Should be fun times. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see what we get. Ta da Well, we... Some of you probably already know what you get, but that's okay. Let's see what's in here. Do -do 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 -do. Sleeper. Oh. It's got a little band on it. Nice strategy guide book. Can I grab the thingy? Where's the thingy? There it is. All right, so let's get into there. Da -da -da. Easy peasy. Static electricity. Let's look at that guidebook. <laughs> the duelist. Nice. Basic death list. Oh, there's the death list. We don't want to see that. It's like foreshadowing. Alright, let's just go through. Okay, drifting meadow. Alright, tap. It's got cycling. You may pee. Two and discard this card from your hand to draw a card. Please ability you with this. this. Okay, cool. Got several of them. Da da da. Some planes. Skip over this. That's a lot of planes. All right. Opal. Carotid. Okay, couple of them. Song strong stitcher. Uncommon. Target attacking creature with flying deals no combat damage this turn. Okay. Flying. Target attacking or blocking creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Nice little protection from black. Disciple of Law, Shadow of Red, Monk Realist, okay. Opal Gargoyle. When one of your opponents successfully casts a creature spell, if Opal Gargoyle is enchanted, ench is an enchantment, Opal Gargoyle becomes a 2 2 creature with flying that counts as gar Gargoyle. Okay. When Monk Idealist comes into play, return target enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. Nice flying for Striker. Pegasus Charger, sorry. Sanctum Custodian. Prevent two damage. Well, he's a creature. Uh, Voice of Grace. Protection is black. Opal Titan. He's the rare. He's a rare. Let's see. Two white and two enchantment. When one of your opponents successfully casts a creature spell, if Opal Titan is an enchantment, Opal Titan becomes a 4-4 creature with protection from each of that spell's color, and that counts as a giant. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Guess that's what they mean by sleeper. Brilliant Halo. Destroy target enchantment. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Target creature loses all abilities and is a 0 1 creature until end of turn. That's good. Enchanted creature cannot attack or block. Pacifism. Waylay. Put three knight tokens into play. Treat these tokens as two two white creatures. Remove them from the game at the end of turn. Hmm. Okay. Sierra's Sarah's embrace. Chained creature gets plus two plus two and flying. Attacking does not cause and chained creature to tap. Endoskeleton. 
You may choose not to untap into skeleton during your untap phase. To tap, target creature gets plus zero plus three as long as endoskeleton remains tapped. And then dragon's blood. Okay, well that you get to add a counter. That's pretty good. Brim's Codex, and the rare. During your upkeep, you may put a page counter on Baron's Codex. Four tap, sacrifice Baron's Codex. Draw X cards where X is the number of page counters on Baron's Codes. Codex. Okay, that's actually good. All right, so there's the sleeper deck. Hmm. Let me get this a little bit more. Okay. I mean, hmm. I guess it's. I don't think it would fare too well. I mean, those are pretty. The one, where's that other one? The Opal's Titan. That one's pretty good. I like that. Because he gets protection from that color. Does the other, the other one get protection from that color too? Let's see if it gets protection from that color. When your opponent successfully casts a spell, if Opal Gargoyle is an enchantment because it's a with flying, cuts Gargoyle. No, it doesn't get protection. But I do like Opal's Titan there. You automatically have someone with that protection. It's pretty good. Pacifism is always good. That one's always good if you can just... Oh. I do that during my, uh, during your blocking phase. Enchantments. There's a lot of destroy target enchantments in here. When Brilliant Halo is put into graveyard return, Brilliant Halo is to owner's hand. Okay, I mean, it just keeps coming back. So that's good. Four of them seems a bit excessive. It'll be alright to play with, I guess, casually. Alright. So my thoughts on that. Casual play. Pretty good. Do like that. It'll probably be disenchanted before I could to well, I guess I can four tap and sacrifice anytime I want to. But. All right, and then we have this. Pretty interesting, I guess. Ah. All right, I'm gonna read through this. That's a lot of words. Okay, so there we go. Pre-constructed deck sleeper opened. All right, hope you enjoyed. This is Open Boosters, thanks Deeriams. I'm gonna be looking over these cards a little bit more. And uh, have a nice day. My thoughts is it's pretty much, I would, maybe casually, it'd be fine. I'd probably make modifications to it, but, yep, yeah, all right. Have a good one.